can play around with when they're here um, after school. Go ahead. All right, well, thanks, Mark, uh, and thanks for having us here today. This, uh, this piece of technology is, as Mark mentioned, uh, you know, if you were to purchase this on the retail market, it would cost about $2,500, but it can go all the way up to $10,000, depending on uh, which brand you went with. So, first of all, I'm Klein, and this is Scott, and we're here as representatives of EdTech Partners. What, um, what Scott's doing right now is he's demonstrating uh, the system itself, and what you did not see uh, was we set this up in about three minutes. <laughs> and uh, that's one of the beauties of, of this piece of technology. I'm not sure if you can see this on the TV, but uh, this actually works using a Nintendo Wii remote control. So a Wii controller. Uh, now this, this the, the Wii system, the gaming system became popular uh, mainly because of its motion sensing capabilities. So swing a baseball bat and hit a baseball, uh, swing a golf club, and all of that works using the Nintendo Wii controller and the sensor bar that typically sits at the top or at the bottom of your television screen. So up there in TV land, raise your hand if you have a Wii. Most of you are raising your hand, and some of the people are raising their hands here in the studio here. Um, and that's why it's been so popular. Well, what a lot of people don't realize is the Wii controller itself is actually a high-performing infrared camera. And that infrared camera reads the sensor bar sitting at the top or at the bottom of your television set, and that, that sensor bar emits 10 uh, infrared lights. So at any given time, your controller is communicating with the sensor bar, and that's making uh, all of those games happen. So what we've been able to do is we've been able to modify that technology and find some software that's available online and a pen that Scott created and should happen, it says sharply, but it's not, is actually an infrared LED pen. So that pen, when Scott presses down on the little button, communicates with the Wii controller and uh, the Wii controller is act actually connected to the laptop through Bluetooth technology. So we've combined a whole bunch of different technologies to create an interactive whiteboard. Uh, so what Scott's doing right now is he's just demonstrating that, uh, that feature. We've got two different modes in the software. Scott's using annotation mode right now. And what annotation mode allows you to do is to draw within any computer program that you use. So as an organization, we have uh, this whiteboard installed at five different locations. And these five different locations use the technology in five different, very, very different ways. <laughs> We've got uh, an install at Joe Carlson Elementary in Douglas. We've got an install at PDS Elementary in Sierra Vista, Cochise County Association for the Handicapped, and we've got it at both Boys and Girls Clubs um, in the area, in Sierra Vista, and right in that room behind us here in business. So they use it in a bunch of different ways. Uh, elementary school uses it uh, to engage their students, to be involved in some of the lessons that they're experiencing. And we've seen, seen it used in a lot of different ways in this year. Vista Boys and Girls Club, uh, playing games, assisting them with their presentations and their different events. And we're excited to see how it will be used here at the Vista Boys and Girls Club. And all. Uh, you know, it, in fairness, we just installed it about a week ago um, in the library there. So we're going to be working with the club uh, to make sure that they get the, the most out of the technology possible. Scott likes to demonstrate solitaire. He was doing that in a, uh, here in a little bit. There we go. And you'll see the response time. Now, normally, uh, these boards are $2,500, right? We're able to, to market this at significantly less than $2,500. Uh, $2,400. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, we actually retail this system for $435. So if you were to compare that to $2,500, a significant discount. One of the things that we're finding is that uh, there's a very little, there's, there's a, not much of a learning curve. Uh, when Apple introduced the Apple iPad, their main marketing message was that you already know how to use it. Well, my four-year-old already knows how to use this. We put the pen in his, in his hand, and he's able to move things around and draw um, and do 
exactly what Scott's doing right now. So Scott's demonstrating some of the features, some of the drawing features. We've also got a different mode called PowerPoint mode, which uh, our elementary school students don't use really, but for uh, professional environments where presentations are a daily occurrence, you'd see PowerPoint mode being used more often. The history of our company is uh, interesting, I think. We evolved from uh, Cochise College Technology Club. Scott is president of the Cochise College Technology Club, and I'm the faculty advisor. Uh, my day job is as a department chair for information, at information systems at Cochise College. And Scott and I got together and said, well, wow, you know, this is, this is a really neat thing. Um, Scott took the technology and really ran with it to the point where he actually built his own pen and added a few other things. And Scott and I sat down and we said, well, you know, there's got to be a market for this. Um, and we understand nowadays that school districts and organizations such as the Boys and Girls Club are, um, you know, it's a tight financial time. Uh, budgets are shrinking. and. Uh, money that was there three way zero. back when three. Three is zero. not necessarily there now. I think we've got a number correction, so if you're on, if you're looking at that number, don't call it. <laughs> it could be someone in... Okay. Uh, so the history of our company is, um, is a really interesting one. You know, we, we came from the technology club uh, and decided to form our own business and our own uh, company largely with the help of Mr. Mark Schmidt there through the Small Business Development Center at Cochise College. And we're really excited to see where this company takes us. Um, and as part of our mission as a company, as an organization, we're very happy to donate this technology to organizations like the Disney Boys and Girls Club um, and the other organizations that uh, we're working with. So on that note, I'm going to give back to Mark. for this great donation of $2,500 worth of equipment that our children in the community can learn some uh, technology skills uh, while they're here at the Boys and Girls Club. This is just a, one example of how businesses are reaching out to help. We also would like all you businesses out there, we have Nancy from the Chamber of Commerce here taking phone calls. 